here's the model room and may not look like it on this camera but this thing's pretty narrow it's not as wide as you think it is i mean the the box that it's what the uh shipping container is like uh i don't know 10 foot wide eight foot wide it's, it's, it's a well it's a shipping container you know how wide those are and now we've got shelves on both sides so it kind of makes it narrow so my issue right now is i'm running out of space and it's it's messy but you can see i've got them to the ceiling i've got a little room here it's got a couple rcs a couple of tanks and a couple rc trucks one's hanging up anyway i'm running out of space i'm running totally out of space as far as like where to stack models now this side the roof is getting shorter every haul um but another issue that i have is it's just it's just a dump it really is it may not look it but it really is like here's a cnc machine that i built yes i built this cnc machine the complete frame i didn't build the uh motors or the steppers you know i'm not i don't build electronics but there's all the control stuff behind it the power the stepper driver or whatever it's called and the computer monitor and the computers behind it but yeah i don't really use this thing anymore i had a business before this and i wouldn't even go into that but i would um had it for probably close to 10 years and i would sell electronic pieces and i would build some um out of copper clad whatever i would cut it out so i've used the cnc a million zillion times um it works great and i'm proud of it because i built it i have another one that's right here that was incomplete i never got finished putting it together um, but anyway this this video is not a cnc machine video i used to have one if you watch my first videos there was one that sat right here in this corner. Oh, did it take up a lot of space. I barely could get in here. But it was a big, ginormous CNC machine that I had built. It's, I've got it still, it's, it's out of here. But I'm running out of room. And this, this is the hall. I just finished this video yesterday, put it up. And I'm running out of room because I keep bringing these things in and I'm not gonna stop. Well, I say I'm not gonna stop. I really enjoy collecting these things. But I think I'm going to build this guy right here. Cool. But I got a bunch of junk piled up. All this spray paint. The majority of it I don't use anymore. I need to move some of it out. Here's my 40 Ford. Look at this mess. This is my 40 Ford uh, Unified uh, Content Creators. Oh, man. Scattered. There's a Gremlin body. There's the Chevelle. That I'm using sort of as oh I'm only oh, my secrets away. Sorry, didn't say anything. But I've got to get this place cleaned up. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tripod right there and I'm gonna set the camera up right in the door. Oh, speaking of that. Speaking of having needing to clean some stuff up, and this camera's probably about to go wild because it's dark. There's the other side of my shipping container. If any of you guys wondered what it looked like. I don't have the light on, but it, I built shelves to the very top, big long shelves, and they are full. I mean, let me tell you, I got a workbench here. I've got lights, I'm just not gonna turn them on. It'll probably make the camera just go completely haywire. There's a set of Trick Flow heads for 351 Windsor that we had to pull back out of my nephew's uh, lightning because, yeah, I won't even get into that, but. It, it, a disaster but we've got it off at the machine shop now anyway focus focus matthew focus i'm going to set this thing up somewhere right around here and i'm going to try my best to get some straightening done and we'll just time lapse it just a quick video just to show you what my life looks like when i decide to uh to clean my uh my model room so you guys sit tight and relax and uh oops that was my phone but anyway sit tight relax and watch me clean Stand by.
All right, well, not the complete finished product, but progress nevertheless. Don't know if you noticed everything on the uh, time lapse, but that CNC machine now is gone. It's actually right here, stowed away. I was able to get my newest. So I made a video a while back of this um, cabinet here, display cabinet like the rest. I was actually running out of room, so it's, it's good that I got it. But anyway, this little shelf here was just really full of junk. Had this one label printer. I still use it, but I moved it down there. So I was able to get it, bring the shelf down a notch or two, get this one wired up, and you saw me putting the uh, lights inside it. So good to go here. Got a new display case. Ellie, one of Ellie's little things fit in there, but the other one wouldn't, and the ship wouldn't. So we put it right there. Not right where I want to put kits at because I'm, I've got to do some rearranging. Um, I've got the Tornado that I've got to get up here. So all of my older kits are up here, uh, at least older, the oldest ones that I have at least, they're up here. Um, I think this is probably the oldest one that, uh, one of these is the sealed, the, I think the one in the middle is still sealed. Although some of you guys say it's not original seal, I'd beg to differ. The, the, the cellophane on that thing, you can tell that box has never been out of it anyway nothing to argue about but that palmer might be older i think it was 64 i think that's 65 but anyway um got these older kits and then this will be uh, 1967 i think it is this uh, amt uh, tornado i think uh, yeah that's what skill said it said 1967 so i'm going to get it up there on the shelf with the rest of the older ones Oh, I forgot. Those little um, Ren walls, the two little yellow boxes up top, they're the 143rd scale, I think, or 148th or something like that. They're old. They're out of the 60s. But yeah, I got to get... I'm, I'm still undecided on what to do with my my spray paints here. I gotta, I gotta move that junk. It's just in the way. And really, I don't use all that, so why do I have it all? But if I could find a place to put these RCs, I'd have some more, some more room. But I'm starting to get concerned. I'm running out of a uh, running out of space, and and I've got to do something because I'm not going to stop with my beloved hobby of collecting model kits. So I've got these just stashed right here for now. I will get them put somewhere else. Um, there's my rat Fink. He's he's hiding up there. Bobby Teams sent me that, and the uh, little metal Ford. I can't remember who sent that to me, but anyway, I've got the. Uh, the gift note that came with it from Amazon. But anyway, this the, my benches are still kind of cluttered. Going to get to it, but I wanted to go ahead and end this video. I didn't want to just be like a boring one hour long video of me doing all kind of stuff. But So it freed up a lot of space right here. Now I don't have that CNC. I don't have the computer that was right here. I don't have the monitor that was right here. And it, we got it going on, man. It's looking good. I'm glad that I've freed some space up, but anyway. All right, yeah, it's me. So I'm done. Um, it's hot in here. I didn't want to turn on the air today. It's kind of, it's just humid. It's very humid today. So I'm gonna get out of here and go cool off. My wife's got some things for me to do. This is a Veterans Day today. So uh, thank you to all the veterans out there. 2021 Veterans Day. Um, but I'm done with this video and I hope you guys have subscribed. If you haven't, go subscribe. If you haven't already gone to the Facebook group, go check it out. Uh, go join. And if you have not gone to Hobby Nut Models where I was able to get some of these kits, uh, about, I think four of them came from Hobby Nut. Go over there and check Mark's inventory out. And uh, that's all I got. Oh, by the way, I got some new shop cards up. GI, uh, got heart, Heartbeat. I had to shorten it just a hair. Rick's over, uh, Rick over at Heartbeat Model Shop. Shortened it just a hair so it fit a little better. And then I've got uh, Cliff, GI, GI Mechanic Scale Modeling, got his shop cards up. So, so I'm getting a uh, quite a collection of shop cards here. I plan on just continuing to wrap them on around and going on down. I've got this light kind of jerry-rigged up here with some with some uh, clamps, but that would, that would there's plenty of places to continue to put shop cards. So you guys keep sending them and I'll keep uh, putting them up. 
and that's about it so appreciate you guys watching and i've got a cool comparison video coming up so don't forget to watch that um and i'm done you guys have a great day i'm gonna go cool off get something to drink see you later